you guys. Jenny says it. It seems like it's moving real slow. Well, I hope. Well, just the intro video okay. was. I hope. I yeah. hope that we don't have any problems because I don't know. Like we're in Central Florida and we're having really bad thunderstorms yeah. at the moment. We haven't lost power or anything like that. But not yet. Not yet. But Hold on, let me move over a little bit. Let me move over just a little bit. I don't have anywhere to go. Okay, move them. Move them boobs over there. Boobs just, taking up all the room. Well, you know. Yeah, that's, just, I can't help massive, it. Massive sexy boobs. <laughs> <laughs> massive sexy move taking up all the You're fucking right man you trying to fucking spotlight yourself and take over the damn show i i last time we were at the club i take i was taking videos of jenny and everything while she was dancing and afterwards when we were eating restaurants and i made sure to get some good video footage in there and fucking got like shit ton of likes and everything and fucking friend of ours wants to trade fucking porn pictures and shit and fucking i was like you know who i'm talking about tell uh me oh tony and my ex like, like, <laughs> you're holding out on me man you're holding out on me man. and i said i already been with your girlfriend and i inter i introduced you to her fucking after we broke up dude she's like yeah she's so much more juicy and then i go you're just trying to get pictures of boobs and he's well, like yeah 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 he's he because he's gonna bash he's gonna bash it about that shit well yeah yeah but i'm not the thing is, is he's like we don't save them and i'm going yeah bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. He fucking shares that with all his other goth porn friends. There's yeah, a whole don't, underground of you fucking don't know goth where you, don't, you know, you don't know where that picture's going Yeah. Be. Whole underground of hot goth fucking girls and, and, and their boyfriends fucking trading fucking pictures and shit and video clips. Well, we can... I'll tell They're you They're all what. strippers anyway. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because they're just like, whatever. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has already seen this shit. Right. Because it's, it's pretty old at right. this point, but um, but yeah. So we'll talk a little bit about uh the vampire ball because, like I said, we did that Friday. But we'll yeah. talk about let's talk about creep show first. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, okay. So this was season two, episode two, mm -hmm. which just uh dropped on Thursday. I think they put up the mm -hmm. new ones on Thursday. Now, uh, yeah, this was actually a, d a decent episode. wasn't as cool as the first one because I really, really liked how the first one had like a couple of throwbacks. You know what I mean? This one is a little bit more kind of one of the middle of the road ones like entertaining but not super memorable yeah i kind of forgot everything about well them. you know it's weird it's like i was thinking about it this morning so like like i said we watched it thursday night when it came out and then i was kind of like then today i was like oh yeah we got to do the matinee about the creep show and a, you know the new creep show episode yeah. and then i was like oh shit what, what happened was in that? yeah and then i remembered the second one and then i was like well, what was the first one though yeah. and then i had to like think about it and then i was like oh yeah yeah okay so you just start talking about it i'll remember yeah like i said they're not bad they're just not like super super and and i got confused too because i think on one night we had put on uh you know if you have shutter they also have like a streaming thing where you can just watch whatever they put on and we had that on one night and they were showing all the first season creep shows so i watched i rewatched a couple of those so maybe that might have been why i kind of forgot about it too because i start sort of started watching some of season one again they're all good. It's just it's it's a light watch. They're not you know it's it's like well, that's light what, entertainment. Yeah, they're, that's what they're fun. You don't yeah, really have to. You're not paying attention too much. Yeah, you can just kind of like watch them while you're doing something else. Yeah. It's just kind of fun. It's like every now and then you look up and you're like, ah, oh, that was fucking that was mm. fucked up. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's that kind of thing. Yeah. So this one, uh, just like the last one, had two stories on it. The first one was called Dead and Breakfast. And this was about a brother-sister team, uh, one of whom was played by C. Thomas Howell. And it's funny because I saw his name in the credits and then I was like watching the thing and I was like, where's C. Thomas Howell? And then I was like, oh my God, he's old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As are we all. Well, yeah. I didn't expect him to like have gray hair and everything else. He doesn't look, I mean, I just didn't recognize him at first. I don't know who that is. He was uh, he was real big and he was in The Hitcher, remember in 1986 with uh, Rucker Hauer? He was, he's a younger guy. I remember that movie, but I don't really remember the We movie. did, we even reviewed oh, that movie. Uh, yeah, I yeah he remember. was the younger guy in that. Okay. So he was kind of like a big, like a, you know, yeah. he, he was on the cover of like Teen Beat and shit like that in the 80s. fun of me already. So, well, if Tom doesn't remember it, then, you know. <laughs> Yeah. No, we're not saying that. Well, it's and, not bad. And the thing about it, too, is that he doesn't pay as much attention to them. Because yeah. he's usually, I mean, when we're watching stuff, I'm usually watching it and pay attention, it paying attention what to it. it. And he's usually not paying attention to it. Well, sometimes I'm answering messages. He's usually on the tablet, right. like, with right. messages. It, it or watching on, something on YouTube. It or depends something on like what that. it is. I'm never doing that. If it's something outstanding, then no. It, then I'm going to, you <clears> know, get get all into it. If it, if it starts, I, my, I don't explain myself to anybody. Maybe maybe you should. No, if, it, if, no. It's out, if it's outstanding, then I'll put everything down and I'll, I'll be immersed into it. If right. it's just good or okay, then I'm like, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I just kind of bullshit through it. 
yeah, I'm having a good time, but yeah, I'm, but right. I'm also doing two or I'm three also that, yeah, and I'm also not really all that caring too much about it. You know, it's it's that kind of stuff. But yeah, if I mean, it's bad, then I just totally cut it out, like it yeah. doesn't exist. Well, like I said, I don't like because that. I mean, he usually has he you know he has the tablet, but yeah. with, with me, it's like I don't I don't take my phone or the computers or my laptops or anything like yeah. that into the room. So if I'm like concentrating on something, it'll that's all I can concentrate on is TV. Every now and then, I'll just sit and read a book, but other than that. In the first few minutes, I get the fucking tone. I know, I I know what kind of well, I know what I'm dealing with usually. It, yeah. They ne it never surprises me. I know other tricks. Yeah. Tom knows everything. I know all their tricks. <laughs> no. Yeah, I see what's coming. Tom knows everything. You know. Uh, but yeah, so so like I said, this is these are both very standard like creep show mid level creep show stories. Like I said, Dead and Breakfast is the first one. It's a brother and sister. And they have inherited this house from their grandmother. Now, their grandmother was supposedly uh, a serial killer. Like, a, and uh, it's very funny because the sister, the, their names are Pam and Sam Spinster, which I think is very funny. Uh, but the grandmother was supposedly like uh, one of the OG serial killers and she doesn't ever get talked about, which the sister, Pam, is kind of pissed off about. She's like, she should be super famous. You know, she's, she's an influencer. <laughs> she was like one of the very early serial killers. She was an axe murderer. And uh, so she knows all these stories about this house. So they're trying to run it as a bed and breakfast, but it's not really working out. So, uh, you know, because it's just kind of flying under the radar. So they get the idea to invite this girl who has kind of a horror, true crimey sort of YouTube channel or whatever. Um, or, you know, whatever it is the kids are doing these days. Uh, this kind of this kind of goth chick named Morgue, I think is her name. And they invite her there. They say, you can stay here for free if you live stream from here and, you know, kind of hype up the place so we can get more place, more people to stay. So she does that. But then it turns out that a lot of the stuff that was legendary about this grandmother of theirs and about these murders and stuff, maybe not so much true or like a lot of the legends about the house, maybe not true. And so Morgue starts you know, live streaming to her followers. It's like, this place is bullshit. It's like, you know, the brother and sister at Runner are just super desperate. And it's like, they just want people to stay here. So they're making up all these stupid ass stories. And so um, at some point, the sister decides that she's going to maybe make this into a murder house for real. Uh, and you know where it's, so like I said, it's a, it's a very standard creep show revenge type of story. So you know where it's going to go, but it's it was fun. It had, um, you know, it was like real gory, kind of had a thing about, you know, kind of a fun thing about how how all of these kind of bed and breakfasts that are horror based, you know what I mean? And I don't mm -hmm. think it was criticizing that, but it was just kind of like lampooning that a little bit uh, and how people are super into true crime. Ooh, I want to stay in Lizzie Borden's death house and all this other kind of crap. So, you know, so that was like a real enjoyable one. But like I said, not super memorable, but, you know. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Yeah, pre but pretty decent overall. Yeah. Then the second one, this one's a little weird. This one's called Pesticide. Now, this uh, this was directed by Greg Nicotero, and this had Josh McDermott, who, if you're playing along at home, plays uh, Eugene on Walking Dead, uh, or used to. I don't know if he's still on there. Did he die? I don't even remember. I haven't watched Walking Dead. I haven't watched Walking Dead in a few seasons, yeah, so, I don't even, I don't, so I don't know if he's still there or not. But he plays, essentially, John Goodman's character from Arachnophobia. So, it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Except maybe like a a scuzzy or more redneck version. Uh, but yeah, so he's like a uh, kind of a real um, not very reputable. Uh, what do they call that? Exterminator. Yeah. Exterminator. Um, so at the very beginning, he's at this doctor's office. Uh, the doctor is played by Ashley Lawrence from Hellraiser, who looks pretty much exactly the fucking same as she looked in 1987. She must have had some work done. She <laughs> looks great. I'm just saying, because like... I don't know. I saw. I was like, because I saw her name, and I was just like, oh man, the Hellraiser chick. And then I was like, I wonder how she's gonna look these days. She looks pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, some people don't age that much. It's crazy. Yeah, she's not in it a lot, but she's of course sort of just like in the in the beginning and the end. So, uh, so I guess she's kind of like bitchy to him, but deservedly so because he's kind of uh, a shithead. So he's like, oh, I'm gonna dump a bunch of roaches in her fucking place, and then she's gonna have to call me and come back. So, but then he gets invited to this very strange job which is like at this derelict property and uh this dude named murdoch played by the fantastic keith david yeah is uh, did a good job in this one he's man he's good yeah. at everything yeah <laughs> anything that has keith david in it it's yeah. just like yeah it rocks keith david or his voice yeah one or the other right um he was kind of like the both. second part 
of uh, of uh, oh, what's his name? Did Darth Vader? Uh, shit. James Earl Jones. Yeah, James Earl Jones. He's like the second James Earl Jones. <laughs> <laughs> but he has his own thing going yeah, he has on, a great yeah. voice yeah. he does yeah so so keith david's character murdoch uh, invites this this exterminator there and he's basically like well i i want to you know turn this property into condos i have a whole bunch of these derelict properties but i have a little bit of a vermin problem now you can see see where this is going the vermin that he wants him to wipe out are homeless people so <laughs> even though um Josh McDermott's character. I want to call him Eugene, but I guess he's named King, uh, in the or like Mr. King or something like that, in the in the thing. He even though he's kind of like a, a shithead, he was just, he kind of balks it. He's like, man, I don't really want to do that. Even though, but Keith David's like, but look, all this money, and he's just like, oh well, maybe, maybe. But then when it comes time to do it, he's just kind of like conflicted. And uh, it so happens that all of the homeless people do end up dead, sort of not accidentally on purpose. And from then point, from that point on, it goes into this weird, I guess that the exterminator's guilt is like fucking with him. So now he's seeing like all these giant bugs everywhere, um, which are really well done. I don't know. I don't think they're CGI. I think they're, they were models and they were stop motion. I mean, they look like they were really there. Yeah. The, yeah the, the giant bugs in this are actually really, What's really funny good. is I kind of felt kind of some callbacks in terms of to, to the movie, the thing that Keith David was in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like special effects kind of reminded me of the thing. They did a bit. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Callback. And I want to say this was a little bit of a callback to from the first creep show, the movie from 1982, the final segment, yeah. they're creeping up on you with like the guy with, with the, the roaches. with the roaches. Yeah. Um, so it's a little bit like that. And actually, even when they show, cause you know, if you've watched the show, they show like the creep show comic book, like at the end. And when they had the artwork for this particular story on there, it even said they're creeping up on you on it. So they were very, you know, very obviously making reference to that. Um, and then there's one point too, where he, I feel like he gets like shrunk down and like squished and all this other kind of stuff. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's weird. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little, I don't know. I felt like the story was a little muddled. But I did like a lot of the gore in it. I really liked all the giant bug effects. Looked really good. They were just having fun. They were, they yeah. Just having fun with and it. I plus I couldn't figure out who Keith David's character was. He supposed to be the devil? I don't know. I thought he was just supposed to be like a gangster. Yeah, but I don't know. I kind of felt like maybe he, was... he did. Maybe he was a, a representation of Satan. I thought he was supposed to be okay. the devil. All right. Because you know, like Lord of the Flies type thing. I didn't really read too much into it. I was just watching it. Well, somebody like <laughs> called him the devil or some made made yeah. some kind of reference to him as that. Yeah. So I thought like he okay. was literally supposed to be the devil because he was like tempting the exterminator. Yeah. Hey, I'll give you all this money if you kill all these innocent people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I wasn't analyzing it. It was good though. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're not. I, a... I wasn't paying that close of attention. I was. Yeah, you're not a big. Nerd I wasn't really like trying. I, I wasn't really trying to analyze it. I'm just watching. It. Well, like I said, I'm a writer. I'm a storyteller, yeah. so I'm interested in other people's stories, and I'm just like, okay, well, what yeah. is what is what does that mean? Well, what it wasn't we very that? long. It wasn't very long. I mean, it was shorter than a Twilight Zone episode. Yeah, yeah well, they, like yeah, eleven minutes. No, 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 no. Maybe? It's longer than that because the the whole episode is. I think they're both. They're all about forty five minutes. So, and there's two stories. So each story is like twenty odd okay, minutes, 20 like twenty two, twenty three minutes, something okay. like that. So, so basically like sitcom length. Yeah, it went by pretty fast though. Yeah, From... I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't. I don't know. Both of the stories were were good. Maybe the maybe the second one was slightly better, but just because of. Keith David being in it, which, like yeah. I said, that's always a plus. And I like the bug stuff, but I don't know. They're both they're the stories were so different that I don't know if you can really like compare them. But that was one thing that I liked about season one of Creep Show too is that they they really seem to try to get different types of stories going like per episode. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'd have to see it again. Yeah, I mean, we should probably if we had time, we should probably watch these twice so before we do. But we, we have so we have much, so much shit we gotta look at. That's what I mean. And and like I said, ever since I started doing, you know, the extra two movie reviews yeah. a week, it's like now I've been watching like a lot of fucking like other movies that you're not even watching. I still so. got a stack that tall of of DVDs that or and Blu-rays that people sent us. Yeah. To react to. I know we really yeah. need to get to. That. And then half of them were soapy. <laughs> I know. Soapy yeah. I know. it's bad i know yeah. i feel really bad because we have like so many and like i said i have a huge list of p movies that people have recommended right. and movies that i've been wanting to do for a really long time it just takes such such, such a long time to sit down watch them research them record the shit you know what i mean and then do everything else yeah you gotta then, worry about shirts 
Yeah, I still That's coming soon. I still haven't showed you that design yeah. yet. But uh, yeah, I, I got a couple messages from people that wanted uh, that wanted them that sent me their addresses and stuff. Mm-hmm. So uh, so yeah, like I said, if you're in a creep show, just go check it out. It's not as good as the first one, the first uh, you know episode, but it, it was still like a pretty solid middle of the road type episode. Um, you want to talk a little bit about the vampire ball? Like I said, everybody no, everybody that was here Friday night knows that we left. Yeah. Well, we didn't leave, but we did a whole show. But then after the show was over, we went to... We went to there. We posted some pictures. Yeah, we went to the and, Vampire and Ball. And mannequins. I have yeah. to say, I was astounded by the turnout that they had. Yeah. I was expecting it to be sort of like... I don't know. I, I was expecting like a lot of people to come, but I thought most people wouldn't bother showing up. I thought it would be kind of like... But it was like crowded. And I was like 95% of the people like dressed up like big time. Like it, yeah. it was a big deal. Yeah. Like it's it's interesting because you get, that's downtown Sanford and downtown Sanford, there's a lot of kind of, you know, normal people bars, I guess. There's a lot of like sports bars and that kind of stuff. So you always get those kind of people like wandering in there um, and hanging out in there because they don't do, because he does other types of nights like other yeah. days so a lot of bikers too yeah that as well you got bikers hanging out bikers rednecks and i guess you could just call them like you know yuppies what is that what you call them yeah i guess i don't, or know. I don't know what they're calling them nowadays is there a thing for <laughs> i don't know what to call them just people people they all look alike to us <laughs> yeah just people people <laughs> yeah they all look alike to us they all dress the same you with your khakis but they, your... <laughs> yeah can, but you know we probably all look like we dress the same to them too so i don't really that's worry about yeah it. that's true what i have noticed though is that I guess because it's not in downtown Orlando, um, they don't seem to give a shit as much. You know what I mean? There hasn't been any trouble. Well, not since not when we've been there. No. I, I don't know if there's been trouble. I don't think there times. has been trouble. No, I think not they, in there. They go in there and they go, oh, okay, and then they walk back out. I think they know what it is. And there's a bunch of bars along that stretch. Yeah. So I feel like it's not, I mean, you know, it's usually people kind of just making a round of yeah, all the bars. Yeah. Like in the, because downtown Sanford is very, very small. It's only yeah. like a couple of blocks. Yeah. You know, because I think they know, I think, because I remember fucking they were once, what we, like in Dimitri put on some, what was it? It was Joy Division. And they started dancing to that. They knew what that was. Yeah, although it wasn't yeah. the original version. It no, was, it was, it was some it remix, was a, it was like it was a cover. Yeah, they put they put that on. And then, uh, see, I, I don't think it, I don't think, I don't think they're as shocked by it as they were definitely back in the nineties and in, the, in their very early two thousands. Yeah. That was a big difference. Yeah. Too. Big difference nowadays. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was a really fun night. Everybody had really, really cool outfits on everybody yeah. big head pieces. Everybody did. A lot of people did kind of like Victorian looking yeah. like big dresses and masks and blood and all that kind of stuff. So it was like pretty cool. They had a contest. We missed the first part of it because we were out on the back patio, but, um, I think I got some pictures. Yeah, you probably do. And uh, we went to Chantel's after. Yeah. And, uh, I think I got a video of that. Yeah. Man, it's a, they, I guess it was like really... They had a lot of takeout orders that night because it took forever to get the food. Because they were really, really behind. Because like I said, I think that's the only restaurant in downtown Sanford that's open all night. So people that are out clubbing and you want to get something to eat, that's pretty much the only game in town. So they get really, really backed up. No karaoke, sadly. They had the thing, and I thought I saw the two guys over there that had been doing karaoke the other night, and I was like, oh boy, more karaoke, but they didn't. I got something different this time. I think I got fried shrimp and fries, but like I said, it took forever. And by the time I got there, it's like I ate the shrimp, and like then my fries were running late because they you know, had to cook them. And then by the time the fries got there, I wasn't hungry anymore, so I just took them home and ate them later. <laughs> but yeah, it was like a really, really slow. You got, you got some pictures. That's you can't I can't see that. Oh, OK. That was the very beginning. Yeah, that was very early in the night. Yeah. That was very early. No, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amanda said, did anyone ask you to be a donor? That happened to me at the vampire bar in New Orleans. No, nobody did. Well, like I said, most of the people that were at this one, we know all of them. So it's not like. And I, this mostly seemed like less serious because we've been to the, we went to the vampire ball in Tampa, which is kind of like that endless night, you know, the same one that they did. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. And I kind of feel like that that's more 
people that are actually into blood play and all that kind of stuff. Whereas this one just seemed like, oh, let's dress up. and It's just a goth night. Yeah, it was just a goth night. And everybody's yeah. just like, well, it's a goth night, but we get to dress up more than we normally would. You know what I mean? So it was that kind of thing. So and like I said, we know pretty much everybody at the place, at least through a couple yeah. of, you know, Jenny Chantel. Oh, that's at Chantel's. Yeah. Look at him sticking yeah. that and shit in my face. <laughs> And then, yeah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah, Chantel. Well, when we were going over there, because we, because everybody was out front, like smoking and stuff. And then I was kind of like, we're going to get out of Chantel's. And I think it was Angel. And she said, man, their chicken and waffles was really good. And I was like, oh, chicken and waffles. But then when I got there, I kind of wanted chicken and waffles, but then I thought it would be like too much for me to eat. And then Jen told me, too, that their carrot cake was amazing. And I'm just kind of like, I love carrot cake. But I was like, I know I'm not going to be able to eat that. So and we she in. said, yeah, it's a big, huge. Fell in with these two. Oh, yeah. We ended up sitting with them. Yeah. <laughs> in the little window Trying. seat. Because they kind of came in and said, come and sit inside with us. <laughs> Look at my <laughs> face. Look at my face. <laughs> Look at my big pointy nose. Yeah, they were making out and stuff. Well, you know, everyone yeah. was, everyone's pretty uh, hammered. Yeah. Then. That was like at two in the morning, I think. <laughs> They're all like in their early 20s and shit. Yeah, we're hanging out with the youngsters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think she was only 25. He might have, yeah. he seemed a little bit older. I don't remember what his name was. I'd seen him around, but I didn't know what his name was. Jenny definitely looks suspicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Yeah, it was fun, though. Uh, next up, Memento Mori. Yeah. But that's a week from tomorrow. That's on Monday. All right. Uh, you seem like you're eager to... Yeah, I don't have anything to say. I'm kind of sleepy. Yeah, I know. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. So we will be back tomorrow. Do you want to do another... We'll probably do um, uh, an on-the-menu tomorrow, like a food show. Okay. So be thinking about something. I already right? got it. I already got it. Oh, you already yeah. got an idea? Yeah. Are you going to tell me what it is, or is it going to be a surprise? I want to talk about what could be done with like shelf stable stuff, like powdered milk. Powdered oh, that's eggs, a good idea. Fucking, you know, sh shit that you can stockpile for emergencies, like fucking hurricanes and disasters, crap like that. And what you can do with it. That's actually a great idea. Things like powdered butter, how to use all that. Because we've done that too. Like sometimes when we have, because we have like a bunch of canned shit, yeah. and then sometimes you know when it's a year or two old, and you want to rotate some shit out, you're like, well, you use your you gotta shit. you gotta use this shit up yeah. and. You know, so you gotta. I love having love. I'm gonna show you guys some fucking real powdered milk, the good powdered milk, and what to do with it, and what you, what you can make out of it, and then how to use it in an emergency situation. Okay, we talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll do. Yeah, Amanda Smith said you have to do curry. We we eventually will. Okay, we will. We want to do a whole curry. We'll either do a curry show or just do an Indian food in general. Although Indian food is such a broad topic, maybe we should just do a specific. Yeah, it's a fucking huge topic. We could do curry on a uh, Tuesday if you want. Yeah, we can do that. Most Indian food is a fucking variation of curry. It's all kind of curry. That's true. So maybe we yeah, can do that. They just call it different things. But really, if you analyze what they're doing in these uh, fast food or more of these, you know, sit down Indian restaurants, it's all a variation of the same thing. That's true. Yeah. All right. So we will be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time talking about some food. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for dropping by. Have a good rest of your weekend. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.